He's a dog. He'll smell poop whether I ask him to or not. He would go through fire for that toy, so I can have him searching uh, a really chaotic unit like an ICU or the ER. And he doesn't care how many people are there, what's going on. He'll he'll still search because he knows that if he searches, he gets that. In 2013, I had a big uh, wound in my leg that ended up becoming infected. I went on a um, large dose of IV antibiotics for it. And after that, uh, I was all right for a little while. Then I came septic, I was rushed to the hospital, which I spent a week and lost about 20 pounds in that week and almost died. The diarrhea is so extreme, you have no control over going to the bathroom or not going to the bathroom. So you're, I had a diaper on. It, it was humiliating, it was awful. Oh, that was so much fun. Angus has been instrumental in it. He's shown us all sorts of things that we've never even thought about until he's alerted on something. One example would be the toilet paper holders inside the bathrooms. The outsides of them get wiped, but his little head fits inside, so. Once he learned it on the inside, we're like, oh, okay, that makes sense. So that's something now that we, ha we make sure that the cleaners focus on when they're doing the washrooms. C. diff is an interesting one. When it's in the tiniest form that he picks up, I can't always smell it. But when there's a patient with C. diff and they've got the extreme diarrhea going on, you, you can smell it in the room. Like it, It's very, very distinct. And I get that feedback from nurses a lot that we don't need a dog, I can smell the C. diff. To which I answer is, yeah, I can smell the C. diff too, but by the time we can smell it, the potential for it to be spread, the spores of, to be spread, it's everywhere, and you can't tell me what's contaminated or not. 